We will take back control of our waters. We will ensure that we don't see uh, that we don't see British fishermen unfairly denied access to other waters, and we want to rebuild our fishing industry. But that's a Conservative Party. That's a Conservative Party that is committed to coming out of the Common Fisheries Policy. His party wants to stay in the Common Fisheries Policy. The EU agreement published this week has sadly left my fishermen from Amble and the North East very anxious. Whilst we will regain control of our fishing grounds at the end of the implementation period, which is great news, there is real concern in case our EU colleagues try to take advantage of our losing our voice in the CFP by altering discard rules or changing quota rules during the implementation period. Please, would the Prime Minister consider asking DEFRA to prepare a financial mitigation plan to protect our fleet until we get to 21, should we need to do so? Can I, can I say to my honourable friend, that the agreement, the implementation period is there so that people can have the certainty of being able to operate on the same basis uh, until we reach the, uh, the new partnership that we're negotiating. As I said earlier, that new partnership, for me, we want to take back control of our waters, but ensure that British fishermen are not unfairly denied access to other waters, and, and also ensure that we can rebuild our fishing industry. And I think that's important. What has been agreed, she mentioned quotas, what has been agreed is that the stability key will not be changed. So the, the quotas that British fishermen will be operating, uh, operating under will not be changed. But I know that DEFRA are looking actively at how we can ensure that we're not only maintaining our fishing industry, but that we enhance and rebuild it after we leave. Unlike the SNP, I don't want to see Britain rejoin the disastrous common fisheries policy. Yeah. But I do have some concerns about the fisheries aspects of the transitional agreement which has been provisionally agreed with the European Union. Before she travels to the European Council, can the Prime Minister reassure the House and indeed fishing communities around the United Kingdom that we will absolutely and unequivocally take back full control of our waters from 2021? Well, as I, as, I said in, as I said earlier, the, implement, the point about the implementation period is that it is the period during which people are able to move to make the changes necessary for the uh, new economic partnership that we will have. It ensures that uh, businesses, fishermen included, don't face two cliff-edge changes in the, uh, in the way that they're operating. By definition, because it's uh, maintaining as far as possible the status quo so people don't have to make those extra changes, um, it, is, it is, I recognise, not the same as the and, and won't be the same as the end state when we uh, are able to have a future economic partnership and have those new that new relationship as i said earlier one of the elements that we will be looking for in, in uh, reassuring the fishing industry and providing for the fishing industry is to ensure that we do take back control of our waters <laughs>